What's your name? Come on. Faith in the future. Introduce yourself. Tell me the name of the boy who isn't going to die today. Devros. Uh, the name is Devros. Uh, yeah. Who's that? Who's that? He created the Daleks. Dr. Donna helped destroy it. He's like the old guy in like the weird dollar wheelchair with no eyes and uh. He's straight up classic. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a pretty popular name. I mean Jack Ross. No. I know I was kidding. <laughs> Jack, look, you show. Jack. I thought he might take in or something. Yeah, like, I figured he'd be somebody important, but it's like, really? Come on, Jack. 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 Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of the podcast entitled Couch Potatoes Unite! Exclamation point. This is a podcast based on a blog of the same name because it's got a good beat and you can dance to it. I am the blogger in question and the moderator of the podcast. My name is Kylie and I love TV. If you feel the same, keep listening and or checking out the blog at couchpotatoesunite.wordpress.com as you're bound to find some common ground or something you like. For at Couch Potatoes Unite, we're all about the wonders and the unique long-form storytelling of the small screen. If you haven't already figured it out, we have been producing more podcast episodes beyond our initial pilot three. Because the panelists and I have lives behind the podcast, however, the episodes are still being produced at an irregular pace, so subscribe to the blog or the podcast via iTunes to stay on top of brand new episodes. We have several episodes already published discussing shows like Downton Abbey, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and Once Upon a Time, and more episodes are in the works covering other shows such as Orange is the New Black, Game of Thrones, we'll be looking back at Ally McBeal and the X-Files, and hopefully many, many more. If you don't hear your show in this podcast format, though, check out the blog. I still write reviews, and I'm always seeking new podcast panelists, so if you have any interest in joining the discussion, say hello. We have a Facebook page, a Twitter, follow us at CPU Podcast, and an email address at couchpotatoesunitepodcast at gmail.com. Of course, you can always subscribe to the blog and sign the guest book or comment on posts you see. We love feedback as long as everyone plays nice. Today we're around the water cooler at our first ever premiere podcast party! Our illustrious panel of eager Whovians, the technical term for Doctor Who fans, are gathered together once again. We watched the Series 9 premiere of the long-running science fiction series and are here to discuss our thoughts, hopes, and predictions about the season to come. If you're unfamiliar with Doctor Who, it's that really long-running science fiction TV show about an alien known as a Time Lord who travels around in a police call box that serves as his spaceship and time machine called the TARDIS, which stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. With companions in tow, he discovers all manner of space civilizations and eras from the beginning to the end of time, from one end of the universe to the other, and he has made himself a few enemies along the way. The show has been in existence on and off for over 50 years. Peter Capaldi, the 13th actor to play the regenerating Doctor, started his second season tonight in the role of 12th Doctor. Hey, it's complicated in the Hooniverse sometimes, particularly since Capaldi appeared as other characters in the Hooniverse, which we'll talk about probably at the season's end. If you recall from our previous Who podcast at the end of Series 8, our panel is hoping to get to the bottom of that little mystery. With that said, though, today our panel, including Kristen, Sarah, and Nick, but minus Amanda, who we miss and who will join us at season's end, but plus a special guest named Jack, will be chatting about tonight's premiere. 
It should be noted that all of our panelists have viewed the entire Revival series and tonight's premiere and may discuss sensitive plot points. So, for those of you who haven't watched Doctor Who through tonight's premiere, listen at your own risk, as there may be major spoilers. Oh, and if you want a more detailed plot summary, as with all of our shows, listen to the prior podcast episode or check out other Doctor Who entries on the blog. If you didn't already know, you can click the floating box at the top right of the header, the picture with the TV watcher, and search for any blog entry or prior podcast episode, which is quite the handy thing, don't you? Well, hello, Sarah, Nick, and Kristen, and Jack. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. How is everyone? <laughs> we're yeah. pretty pretty excited. We're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah awesome. We had, we had a fun party tonight, folks. Yeah, I sure missed did. it. Yeah. Snacks, yeah. Doctor Who. It was awesome. It was great. And comfy couches, don't forget. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Couches. So, we watched the premiere, and it was quite a doozy of a premiere, I'd have to say. Um, I think first out, out of the gate, we... We saw the return of the Daleks. Again. Again. <laughs> and not just the Daleks, but their creator, Davros. So, what did you guys think of it? I enjoyed the episode, and I want to see how it concludes. Uh, they One of the awesome things about the trailer was all the new monsters and different aliens we were going to see. We saw half of them in this episode. <laughs> The snake sure. eye, the hand eyes, and then one of the things they showed in the preview was that two-faced alien that just, it's just there. It's just there. Did you say the ood? We saw an ood. We did see we an ood. We saw an ood. I haven't seen the ood in a while. It was nice to get a little glimpse of them. Did the hand with the eyes have a name? I don't, didn't. They called them hand bombs, didn't they? I mean, that's what they... Did they? They, they might. I missed them. He said, yeah, because... At the, the beginning? The, the little boy, didn't he say, this is where the hand bombs are? And the guy was like, yeah, they are here. You have to hold really still. I, I missed that. I missed that. I must have <laughs> missed that. Or I hallucinated. <laughs> it's entirely possible. I'll have to watch again to see what's going on. <laughs> So, not only did the Daleks come back, but so did Missy, a.k.a. the Master, which has come hey, back. Jack's very excited about that. He likes, he likes Missy. He does. And who wouldn't? She's really a great actress. Oh, I love Michelle Gomez. I do. She's I really awesome. like her a lot. So, Missy came back, even though we kind of saw her disappear at the end of Series 8. We don't know how it is she came back. She kind of said, oh, not dead. Live with it or whatever. She dying said. is for other people. Yeah, dying, dying is for other people. <laughs> yeah, so what do we think about her? I love Missy. I think she adds a lot. I really like her now. <laughs> well, in the beginning of season eight, it was kind of like, who is this chick? And now it's now that we've kind of got her whole story, she's back. I like it. I think she adds another you know, element to the Clara-Doctor relationship. It's nice to have that third person in there. She was borderline helpful today. Yeah. She was. Well, I'm suspicious about it. I I, I am too, because especially at the end, it seems like she was trying to sell them down the river to save her own booty. But Mm -hmm. I I I like her working with them. For whatever, if it serves her own purposes, I think she's going to keep. Yeah, she'll be around for a while, I think. And I like how she always insists that they're friends, no matter what. I know, right? She just insists yeah. that they are best friends. Well, they were... They've been friends since kids. Yeah, they were best friends when they were kids. They... Right. You know, they grew up together. They went through the Time Lord school together, and it wasn't until the Master started going to the dark side that they really kind of split off and did their own thing, but they were besties from day one. The like, lie... When she played Two Truths and a Lie with Clara, that it was him being a girl, Right. Because I would think, I would think was, so. We're supposed to assume William Hartnell is who the doctor was. He didn't regenerate at all. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think so. That's, I mean... Well, and we see him... We see the doctor when he's little through different At least with episodes. the master. Yeah. And that he's always... The doctor's always been portrayed as a, as a male. So, I think, yeah, I think the little girl is the lie. I think they were trying to go meta with that joke. Yeah. Because we were talking about uh, Missy being, well, the master being his BFF since childhood, but she seemed to take it very offensively when 
the doctor called Davros his arch enemy. I thought mm-hmm. that was pretty funny. Yeah, she said, yeah. I'm not even your arch enemy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At which point, my reaction was, which is it, lady? Yeah. Friend or <laughs> enemy? One. Friend or foe? I guess friend of me. So the other big piece of news for the Whovians out there, which they've been announcing all week, is that this is Jenna Coleman's last season as Clara slash the companion of the Doctor. She's definitely leaving after the Christmas special. She's got another job, another TV show in Britain. And we had some, we were sharing some thoughts about that before the premiere started. What do we think about that now? I was just going to say, didn't she, her storyline start with the Daleks? It did, because she was introduced in the Asylum of the Daleks. Yes! With, uh, hey, yes. With, what was she, she making? Was uh, soufflés? Soufflés. Yeah, soufflés. She was Oswin. Right? Yep, Oswin Oswald. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think that this Dalek arc is going to end, will be the end of her. Oh, like the end end. Like she's going to die. Well, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> okay. I mean, that probably makes the most sense, I guess. But I don't think... I don't think they'll kill her off. I don't know. They've yeah. gotten so much bet... Like, that seems like this horrible, uh, like, oh, they couldn't do it. But the things they've done so far... I think it was worse what they did with Rose than killing her off. Like, oh, you're just in another universe and you can't see her. And I think it's well, a thousand times worse what they did with Donna Noble. Yeah. She doesn't but, even get to remember but again, but with those two, you know... Russell T. Davies even said in interviews, those two never would have left the Doctor, Rose especially. She was going to be with him until she died. And the only way to separate them was to put her in another universe or to make it so they could never see each other again. Otherwise, we would still be watching Rose and the Doctor or the Doctor and Donna because Donna would have done the same thing. But isn't Rose with his clone? Yeah. Yes. They got around it. Yeah. Yeah, They got around it. They still gave us all the happy ending that that we wanted. That was the lure to the other dimension. Yeah. I think it's bittersweet that Clara's going. I really like her as a companion, but she has been on the show. This will be her third season since she got popping up during season seven. Um, I think it's time. I think it's time to get some. some I also don't feel fresh like blood. Tenet and Rose and Tenet and oh, sorry to miss actor and character and Catherine Tate had an awesome connection mm-hmm. and Matt Smith with Rory and Amy did, but I just don't. I haven't felt that with her and either of the doctors. The awesomeness of just watching them do stuff together. And maybe we'll get more of that in this season, but I'm just... I'm ready for a new companion. I don't mind her. I don't hate her. If she signed on for another series, I wouldn't be upset either. But mm-hmm. I just... I don't know. I feel like maybe they didn't write her as strong. I think that maybe is why you're kind of feeling that way. Because Rose and Donna were written so strongly as characters... And it seemed like Clara, they were trying to figure her out because she came in halfway into a season, really, as the companion. And then all of a sudden, season eight, bam, she gets a new doctor. So now it's writing their relationship. I I feel like she didn't really have a personality until last season. Right. Because you did say that she was kind of given the personality last season. Yeah. They finally started giving her stuff to do. But I don't think it's... Well, part of the problem at least where that's concerned, is that she wasn't a personality. She was the impossible girl. That was Mm -hmm. her whole gimmick. She was this companion or woman that just kept popping up in his timeline until they explained that. Yeah. Um, See, I liked Clara. Um, I know I was... When we talked about this last time in the last podcast, I know there were a lot of people that were just like, Clara's eh, at best... Or Amanda actually disliked her strongly. <laughs> so um, I, I enjoyed her with Matt Smith once they kind of, toward the latter ha- uh, part of his, his time as the doctor, I thought they had a really good chemistry. Um, but maybe that's because they were kind of playing or toying with the romantic angle. I don't think she has any chemistry with Capaldi. Maybe uh, she had a lot of them. chemistry with Danny Pink. I'm still yeah, broken up over that, and and I'm I don't know. I <laughs> hope that they. Like Danny. I know. I <laughs> like Danny. For the record, I like Danny. I like um, too. And I really hope that they end Clara's storyline with some sort of hopeful note. I mean, because back last season we saw their great, 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 etc. Grandson. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like. I know not everything is set in stone, but he's there, so either she's pregnant and doesn't know it, or 
he comes back in some way because the grandson exists. So how does that happen? Well, the grandson exists if they didn't change the future. Yeah. What if that's not a fixed point? We talked about it the yeah. last time because I I, I made that same observation. Like, why did they show this future only to kill him off in the Christmas special? Right. I, mean, I, don't know. I don't know. It just seems like the trend with the companion either is they're separated from the doctor, like Rose, Amy, and Rory, or they find an alternate option that they like better. Like Martha chose to take a different path. She wasn't forcefully separated. She just found a new opportunity. And it seems like Clara might take the new opportunity route. They haven't done that really since Martha. So They haven't killed anyone either. They haven't killed anyone either. <laughs> but a friend of mine posted online that she read that Clara was gone. She was like, thank goodness the witch is leaving. Oh, I don't think she's a witch. Yeah. <laughs> she's not that bad. Poor yeah. Jenna Coleman. Yeah. yeah but I had a couple of friends post things like, oh, yay, she's leaving. She's gone. Oh. Yeah. Well, who would be like, I mean. Just bring Donna back somehow. Make it work. I if actually only. think that Catherine Tate would probably cut it up nicely with Peter Capaldi, actually. Well, no, here's my idea. <laughs> okay. That there's something in the back of his head about guilt from what happened with Donna. The next time he transforms, it'll he'll appear, he'll have that face. And it'll just be Catherine Tate playing the doctor. That's what I want. Dr. Donna. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I want James Corden to come back and be the companion. Oh. I liked his episode. What do you have, Stormageddon? With yeah. Him? <laughs> I don't know. Alfie. Yeah. Maybe he could sing. He's a good singer. I just liked his up two episodes because he plays that kind of clueless, yeah. bumbling fool so well. And then he was so cute with the baby that he had the baby. Mm-hmm. And he was, yeah. And you want him to leave his baby to go on adventures with the doctor? Well, t- he can come back to the same point in time. Hello. Because the TARDIS always works perfectly. It mm-hmm. seemed to work pretty well when Amy needed it to. Amy That's Clara. all I'm going to say. Yeah. And Amy last Clara. season. Mm-hmm. Amy, not when necessary. Amy needed to get back the night before her wedding, and got her back. I was alright with that more than I was that whole season with Clara. Where Last season. Yeah. yeah. Or series. I don't know what word we're supposed to use here. Either one is okay. In the United Kingdom, it's series. Here, it's season. But are, it's BBC does, America, so what are you going to do? So if they're talking about the whole series of a show, what are they... Like, what is a group of series called from beginning to end? Program. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With Emmy at the end. So what do we hope is going to happen? Well, they're not dead here. <laughs> that... You they're can't not. kill the master off like that. It has to be more epic, and I don't think... Yeah, they're not, they're not dead. They're transported somewhere. With the little... Captain the vortex Jack. manipulator. There we go. I know, but they still showed her, like, skeleton. These, yeah, so I think that those Which, Daleks are just, they're the transporter Daleks. I, they wouldn't kill ah, everybody ah, off in the first the episode. Transporter Daleks. Well, Was that a thing? A, it might be. We'll have to watch next oh, week okay. and see. But, again, this, yeah, they showed the skeleton, but they're not they are not going to kill everybody the off The preview in just one. teased the doctor going back and, well, actually the final moments teased the doctor going back and making like he was going to kill Davros as a child. Yeah. But he also was using that part of the Dalek as the weapon to kill Davros, supposedly. So I don't think he's going to actually do it, but I think that's where Davros is going to get the idea of, hey, the Dalek weapon should look like that because that's what the doctor's using... Right in his face. This is all very wibbly wobbly. It's a paradise. And it is. It's a He's not gonna kill Davros. No it's like a temporal loop. Yeah, he can't kill Davros because then the Daleks will never happen, and everything we've ever seen with the Daleks will have never happened. Yeah, if they did a whole undo, I don't know if I. Could that would be. It. <laughs> no. Like no, nope, I changed time so much that everything you've ever watched on Doctor Who never happened. I don't think they would do that. I don't see how they could do that. Yeah. Well, if they killed Davros off as a child, the time war wouldn't happen. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then oh, oh, Gallifrey would I still be it. where it is, and the Doctor would never go on a rogue thing here. And... This is a really heavy way to start the season. I want a fun episode coming up. <laughs> you know, like, just yeah. a fun... You know how sometimes they just... The have, real like, light-hearted ones. Yeah, but it's... it's I kind of want that. So you like want, like... you want. I would say, you want, like, a dinosaur on a spaceship yeah, kind of episode? Yeah, I, I just... Cut, I'm just throwing in for me, guys. <laughs> Once we get to episode four or five is usually the yeah the frivolous 
the one first we don't couple speak of. Yeah, the first couple of episodes set up as we were talking about the art, because the way Doctor Who has been working in this revival series is that the serialized storyline is self-contained in the season. So mm-hmm. the first two episodes are always the big, this is what's happening this season. But not that yeah. big. Like, it's... You, well, I'm trying to think of them all. All I can think of is living plastic and a crack in the wall. Uh, like, yeah, the yeah. crack in the but wall. But you can't sum this up well, in a lot yeah. of two words. You need, I don't hand know. Bomb. Just it's a whole hand lot. Bomb. <laughs> yeah. Hand bomb. I swear they said that, but I'm really tired, <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe they said hand bone. Yeah, honey, oh, that knows. makes sense. A uh, reminder for listeners, Sarah and Nick are married. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we fight. <laughs> Sound good fun. But obviously, we now know Daleks are going to be a major player, yeah. at least in this first half. Which is funny because when we talked last time and I said, you know, we were talking about the one Dalek episode from last series, everybody was like, yeah, it's all right. We don't need to see the Daleks again. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm I never sure. need to see them ever again. <laughs> They've lost my trust, because every time they get rid of the Daleks, they just they come, come roaring back. back. Oh. So I don't care it's, anymore. The Daleks like, and the Cybermen are always going to make an appearance. Same thing yeah. with the Master. They'll never be done with no. the Master. No. Those are the, the Master will the always villains. keep popping up. Mm-hmm. So I just don't rejoice in those victories anymore, because I'm like, well, we'll see them again soon. I don't know. Yeah. They are a rather hearty enemy, aren't they? They just mm. don't seem yeah. to die. And now we're really getting into their origin story. For sure. Oh, at least they're bringing their origin story back for people who might not know it from the classic. Yeah. Or at least go a little more in depth from when they were first introduced in the reboot. Yeah. I feel yeah. like they were really hammering it in with the snake guy referring to Davros as Davros, creator of the Dalek. Like, yeah. Yeah, who was that part snake guy? Where does he fit He's in? He's just a minion. He's just a hired minion. Yeah. He's like a... Yeah. Okay. His, yeah. face His power is he could turn into a Sections. weaker version of himself. <laughs> like, yeah. just... His face <laughs> went like bleh. I know. It was uncoiling <laughs> as a snake uncoils and recoils. It was I didn't need nice. him to be. Anyway. Yeah, it was interesting. And the prequels were just kind of meh. Oh, oh yeah. Pre- yeah. The two prequels were just meh. I mean, they were almost setups for a joke because the yeah. doctor in the episode was like, I hope you've been done go well. And, and mm-hmm. then that guy was a Dalek, right? Yeah, the guy yeah. who was helping him through the meditation the episode. Crap. Yeah. Weird. I, unexpected twist. I would like to register for the record that the doctor's entrance in this episode was pretty badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely the best entrance of any season, I think. And Peter Capaldi, if you hear this and you're really playing the guitar, so impressed. Very <laughs> yes. impressed. If that's really If, if you're not, I'm you're less not, impressed. I'm still impressed because <laughs> he looked I'm like he was. It was that's very true. convincing. If it you weren't work. doing it, that was good faking. Yeah, yeah. We, we approve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two thumbs up. Okay, yeah. you're right. Call us, Peter, if you want to be on the podcast. Yeah, we'd love <laughs> to have you. That's right. We'd love to have you. Yeah, we would. On our secret line. Yeah. Totally like secure. the bat phone? <laughs> no, the, the doctor's line that he you forgot. So right. the, oh, right. You so right. right. the episode we're talking about. Yeah. She, I mean, Missy obviously knows the number. So, But she's Missy. She just seems to know everything. <laughs> she's I think awesome. she's not. There, I said it. I think maybe she's... That's not Missy. I don't know and what. Who is, who is she? I don't know. Maybe she's one of those weird Dalek things that'll have something sticking out of her head. Well, I think it's Missy. No, I don't know. I think it's part of the plan to... It was just to lure Clara and the Doctor there at the same time. Or maybe mm. Missy didn't really die in the Cybermen thing because she had the Captain Jack device. Yeah. And so it made it seem like she was dying, but I, she didn't actually die. Well, we never never really, died. we never saw a body, and she obviously never but regenerated, so I mean, she's that, not dead. Do that's we obviously ever what it see has the to Master be. regenerate, used, though? Do we ever see him regenerate? Yeah. I think in the movie. Yeah. Like the old movie? The only movie? The one the, movie with the, the Paul eighth Doctor? The eighth Doctor movie. Okay. Well, okay. it's, no, it's his energy goes from one individual into the next, so he doesn't technically regenerate. Okay, but the but, snake theme is still there. Um, he regenerates. It's been we a while. We see him regenerate into John Sim. Yeah. yeah. We see the master regenerate in there. Well, it's it's his energy though, because he didn't from the the watch. I don't... It's been a while since I've seen the eighth one. Listen, No, no, I'm changing... I'm, I'm saying we see him regenerate into John Sim in an episode... During ten? Yeah. That, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he opens oh. the watch and remembers he's the master. 
Right. Yeah. He yeah, does yeah, do yeah. that. And he turns into John Sim. Well, yeah. so then that just brings brings it back home to Kristen's point. We didn't see Missy regenerate. Right. Yeah. So I don't. I'm telling you, it's the watch thing. Yeah, I think she's the real deal. Where Maybe there was the nothing to regenerate though when you're exterminated. But I don't think that they're exterminated. That's why I think these are like the transport Daleks. They just moved. <laughs> they made it look like they exterminated. So Missy you and think Clara. she's in league with them? No, I just I don't think that the Daleks exterminated Missy or Clara. They moved them somewhere to like use them as a pawn in there. Yeah, they're oh, trying to they're geez. trying to convince the Doctor that they're both dead because we saw the skeletons like you normally do during a traditional extermination. If what you both want. Sentiment because and Daleks, he wants right? him to go back and kill him. Yeah, because compassion was the wrong choice. Yeah, there you go. So he's so he's the so one Davros who again his. Big master plan is to try to show the doctor that you're wrong, that compassion is a weakness, not a strength. Yeah. Because, look, if you would have had the strength to let me die when you found out my name, knowing what you know, none of this would have ever happened. Your friends would still be alive. So, da, 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 da. Davros is the one feeling guilt. So here's my big question, Maybe. which hopefully we find out. How the hell did... Mr. Twelve Doctor get to that point. I hope they Mr. show us Mr. Twelve that. Doctor? Yeah. Why did he go doctor. save Davros in the well, first place? No, how if did we TARDIS get... was destroyed, how mm-hmm. did he get there? Yeah. From yeah. where he was. And, yeah. and where did he come from? And yeah. how did he oh. land? What's the timeline? Yeah, what's, what's the Doctor's the timeline? timeline version of these events? Exactly. Yeah. And is Davros on Scarrow at that point? Or is he some, from some other planet? Yeah. Because I don't know about these hand bomb things. <laughs> so, yeah. Can't make this stuff up, guys. You know? I saw it. Yeah. They've definitely. They've they got, they're going to come got, back to them, right? I mean, come on. They have yeah, to. They have to. They, they made a big thing about it in the trailer for the season. You know, they played a decent part in this first episode. They're going to definitely be present the second half and maybe again later. And aren't we supposed to, didn't you say, or didn't we read somewhere along the line that Moffat was going to explain Capaldi's face yes. and how it has appeared in Torchwood and during David Tennant's yeah. tenure? They're going to at least explain why he has the same face as what he did in Fires of Pompeii. There's a theory that Russell T. Davies came up with and he and Moffat convened and Moffat so, likes it and he's going to use it. At first so in this episode, I thought they were back there. Oh, yeah. 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 Bit. yeah, it would have been nice, but... Yeah, because they just made an allusion to it in last season's premiere, the face, I've seen this face before, Yeah. Mm-hmm. but then they never finished that plot point, and mm-hmm. so they promise that they are going to explain it, I just don't know when. I think it's in this season. Like, maybe the doctor just feels so guilty that he saved only that family, that he caused Pompeii. Or that that face is a reminder that compassion is strength. Could be because it was Donna who convinced. It him was to Donna save who convinced him. him to save them. Otherwise, he would have let them die. Donna. Yeah, but he. Oh, what if they brought back Donna Noble just for that? I just bring her back. Just, we just all like Catherine her, Tate dear Catherine television. Tate. Find a way, Stephen Moffat. Dr. Let her Donna. back. Yeah, Dr. we all want her to come back. So just she's do it. one of she must be the favorite. Of she's us. yeah. She's my favorite companion. And it's my favorite Doctor Companion relationship. Yeah, she's my favorite non romantic Doctor Companion mm-hmm. relationship. You're making so, an exception for Rose. I am. You? You <laughs> like I will Rose. Rose, Rose was the first. A Rose and Tennant episode was the first one that I ever saw, and so because that was my first exposure to Doctor Who. Yeah. I fell in love with it that way, so... I'm kind of with Kristen this way. You know, mm. but if it would have been... As long as you're a, aware, your opinion is invalid. If it would have been a Dr. So Donna judgy. episode, I would have probably loved Donna the most. No, you just you just agreed that Donna's better, but you're nostalgic I said, for that relationship. She said I said the best non-romantic companion. She qualified Right, it. but you're, you're saying the only reason you like Rose better... Is for nostalgia purposes, not for actual like. Not necessarily. Well, that's what, how you made it sound. Just because that was she the was rat quite burned. spunky. Yeah. Yeah, I like Rose. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but I like Martha too. I don't that's like Martha. I love mm-hmm. Martha. <laughs> Sorry, Martha's portrayal. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and then you're all just disinclara. <laughs> just 
not. I'm not dissing Clara. That's true. Kristen's not. She's I'm not dissing her. I just think. I like Martha more than Clara. That's an easy I one for me. Your opinion is invalid. No, it's not. <laughs> Let's take a vote. Who likes Martha better? Raise your hand. Jack's right. raising his hand. So it's three to two, guys. Yeah, we still win. It's a loaded vote. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, any other reactions that you had to the premiere other than, oh, geez, not the Daleks. And, um, Can I just say, as a teacher, I really liked the moment where she's like, get out your cell phones, turn them on. And the kids <laughs> yeah. were like, what? Because what? <laughs> my kids would be like, okay. <laughs> I love how they mentioned Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Doctor She's there like, Twitter? <laughs> yeah. I thought that was cool. I'm sorry. I would like that they brought Kate Stewart oh. back. Yeah, yes. the Brigadier's, the Brigadier's daughter. daughter. If I, I was... can't get down a Nova in an episode, just bring her in. That yeah, was... I really like Kate. And who was that other lady that was working with just them? Just new. But she, she was new. She I knew. I dug her. Mm-hmm. She seemed cool. There's usually one random weird scientist that has... Yeah. Enough personality from the actor or the writing where you're like, have I, are they, I know. Are they should I know who this character is? Because she was cool. good. Yeah. She was very good. And I like their, science fiction. Yeah, I like the introduction of that, the algorithm where it's, you know, they mm-hmm. have cataloged all the, the trigger words or the hot words for the doctor. That was pretty, that was yeah. pretty nifty. But. So that was good. We yeah. like that. Yeah. Rumor has it Osgood might be back this season. Didn't she die? She did. However, do you remember in the 50th anniversary special yeah. where, what was the main, with all the suckers on their back where they could impersonate anybody? Yeah, I, I forgot what, what they're, they're called. They're from the classic series. Yeah, they're, but those villains are going to make an appearance, spoilers, later this season. Um, but rumor has it, maybe the Osgood that was killed by Missy was actually the imposter Osgood. And not the real Osgood. Oh dear. There might be. I gotta rewatch that because I, I can't. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. It's Doctor Who. They can bring anyone back. They can't. He just travel. Kind of I mean, just the like, easiest way is travel into the yeah. past of their timeline. Like Which is can, why they need to bring back Danny Pink and send Clara and Danny off on a little happily ever after. Nah, I don't care about them. Well, it's but a if good Clara's way to leaving, send off Clara. Nice way why don't they off. kill her and then? It's just so violent. I'm I know it is, but they haven't done it yet, and you have to hedge your bets. They Eventually, won't. one of them's gonna die. I mean, they're in okay, peril. Constantly. I don't. I don't think maybe she doesn't have... exist. Maybe she's a figment of the Doctor's imagination. So she's still the Impossible Girl, yeah. or the Matrix, the or Matrix. she's still. I don't like, caught in that timeline. Uh, I still don't think they're gonna kill Clara because Danny did sacrifice himself. To make sure that she survived. He was the one who changed the hearts of the Cybermen and led them off to destroy Missy and destroy themselves instead of taking over the world. Missy wasn't destroyed. It's because she had the watch thing. Yeah, she had the vortex manipulator. And where did she get that? Yeah, where's he been hiding out? He's doing a lot of Comic-Con tours right now. I follow him. He was on Arrow. Arrow. Yeah, he's on Arrow too. (laughs) Just but, back to Doctor Who for a little bit. It'd be nice. I like. I loved Captain Jack. Did I read a rumor that they were reviving Torchwood? I hear. I yeah. haven't heard that recently. But the last time I heard John Barrowman talk about it, he said it's not. It's never been officially done. Russell T Davies just they just haven't made right a new now. series yet. Right. Yeah. He just doesn't have the time. What's Davies up to? Some. I don't know if it's him or. Someone close to him is very sick and has oh. been very ill, and he's so just, it's been he's had other priorities right now, right? Okay. Which is fine. I mean, I don't. That's good. I'd rather it mm-hmm. be on hold and let him bring it back than someone else. Because I like Torchwood. I like. I do too. I think my favorite seasons are the last or series are the last two, where mm-hmm. it's just this basically a mini series. Yeah, mm-hmm. I need to rewatch Torchwood, especially. I think the new one is it Miracle Day. The, the one that the that the U.S. kind of did. Miracle Day. Yeah, is that, with I, Bill, is it Bill Paxton and Wayne Knight? Oh yeah, I need to rush What, that one. for real? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it was, on, it was on, like... He and, plays a... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He it was plays on, a like, pedophile who's oh, about to get killed, cause but then Because he's talented no and he has dies. range. I don't know. If you watch this, whatever. <laughs> yeah, because it was done with, like, Showtime or something over here. It wasn't on the BBC. It was, but Wayne, it was very well made. Also, yeah. Wayne Knight... Wayne Knight is in it. At, yeah. Better known as Newman or uh, Don from Third Rock from the Sun. Or Nedry yeah. from Jurassic Park. Uh, that's yeah. true. He gets spit on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
death by spit. Yeah. Death by spit. I mean, he's great, but he's no Bill Paxton. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bill, if you're listening, go ahead and email the podcast. We'll get you my information. <laughs> inviting people. I have a whole list, uh, but... Yeah. Bill, Bill's not on it for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Call me, Bill. So, real quick, though. We know that Claire is going to leave before the end of the normal season. We do? I think so, because... she was leaving... I don't... I think she was leaving by the time the Christmas episode Which happens. Which means she could be there through the finale. Yeah. I think her send off will it's at least at some point, mm-hmm. but because um, spoilers, because River Song has been announced that she's coming back for the oh, Christmas yeah. special. And P.S. In our last podcast, the biggest wisher for that to happen was none other than Sarah. I'm pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very, very happy. <laughs> so I think the two actors that look the most like a couple out of her and Tenet. Smith and Capaldi are Capaldi. Yeah. Like, no, I want to see her. No. Role. They're more age equivalent. They're, they they are. No. Stop what you're saying. I, but, <laughs> but think of what their dynamic's going to be. Think of that. It's going to be grumpy and spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll, I think it'll be really like cool. he's ahead of her now, right? He, yeah, I think so. Yeah, if, I, they'll, if they'll, they'll explain it. she always knew more. Yeah. But, I mean, did she even say that Matt Smith was her doctor because I know with Tenet she said that you're, you know, you're so much younger. Right. There's a possibility that her doctor. Could That's be how spoilers came to be. Because she's probably. like, we're going to be married. Spoilers. Hers? Yeah. Well, she married Matt Smith. So well, there. That's but did true. she? She might grow old. But with did she? Yes. That we saw a wedding, didn't we? It was called oh. the wedding of River Song. Okay. <laughs> yes, they got married, but remember. Eleven was was shrunk down inside that machine that was impersonating him. So technically, she married the machine who looked like Matt Smith with Ugh. Matt Smith inside of it. That, I, I did not understand that episode. I, I just what block it out. I cannot yeah. do it. I you don't didn't. get it. I think I had to go back and years. No, ago. I had to read it on Wikipedia. I could not get what was happening. I don't know yeah. why. Because I think they didn't explain the little guys. They were they relied more on you remembering. Let's kill Hitler. Yeah. Is that the first time yes. we see that? Yeah. Yes. And I was so. just so ramped up during that one. I was Everything yeah. was exciting. So it was like they was kind of got married, but they didn't really get married. But it was more just so she couldn't... So she could know his name. I don't bring know. Matt Smith and David Tennant back. I want another... Three doctors! Four, well, our four we could try for Eccleston, but I don't think he will agree mm. to it. Maybe if you call him. No. Well, maybe <laughs> we, we could another do... <laughs> act of a play. Oh, he's so Or alive. bring the war doctor back. We need your four doctors. <laughs> bring the war doctor back. Bring the war doctor back. He's fun. I like John. I like John. A lot. I do too. Just so you guys know, when they were doing promos for the five doctors in the classic who, Tom Baker wouldn't even film like photo shoots, so they borrowed the wax dummy from Madame Tussaud. <laughs> there are some awesome pictures of those three actors just playing with the oh my! I'll wax look that dummy up. of Tom Baker. Well, see if they can find an Eccleston, and then you know. a wax dummy of Eccleston. <laughs> <laughs> like, like his head. first episode is plastic. I'm <laughs> hey man, he's pretty bitter. He probably would not, you know, have a problem with this. Yeah. The only other thing I was going to add is this is all also presuming that River Song hasn't died because the well, last yeah, time we, we, don't, saw we don't know she, where it is in her timeline. Right. That's is, true. Is it pre-library or post-library? Or jail? Or did she really die? I don't know. She she was that spirit kind of thing at Trenzalore. Oh, yeah, because yeah. that's when she... Yeah, because that's why I don't think they're going to have Claire and River be in the same episode because they've already played it. Yeah. So I think Claire's going to leave before River comes back. But yeah, well, yeah, because I think River's coming back for the Christmas special. She, yeah. And to announce her being the companion for the next series. Do Maybe. you think so? Maybe. That'd be amazing! <laughs> One I wouldn't hope. put it past them. Nick made a prediction of hope. <laughs> I, I think their dynamic would be really good, just saying. I, but, well. yeah, I guess we'll see where it is in her timeline. Yeah, because oh, yeah, she did say that she was dead during those little seancey things. Like, she actually specifically said that she's not dead, dead or like did. Matt Smith. They, yeah, they confirmed that she was dead. But I think she's still just in the library. They can do whatever they want. Maybe That's the true. Christmas special is Capaldi rescuing her from the library. Maybe. 
Because that's be technically fun. the end of her timeline. The library is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's... The yeah. first time we see her is... Is her last day, essentially. I gotta pay attention more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to keep all of it yeah. straight, well, though, especially because the it River timeline, because River, her timeline is totally out of order. Yeah, and she Even, has a diary to get yeah. track. We don't have anything but our yeah. memories. Can we get that? So, I'd buy it. Yeah, I betcha it's him rescuing her from the library. Well, if we say it too much, then I won't do it. I know. It's, I know, but it's already. probably already been written. Well, it has. It's think, already been filmed. Yeah, they're, they're done filming. They started filming this series oh, in yeah, January. Christ- yeah. yeah, they filmed the Christmas episode in like July or August. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So. Which is why they're confirming now that Jenna Coleman's left. The um, one thing, Maisie Williams. We didn't talk about Maisie oh, that's Williams. Right. We should probably mention that Arya Stark is slated to appear in a couple of episodes this season. I think the only person that makes sense for her to be is Romana. For me to care who she is. People think she might be <laughs> Susan, too. That she I'm, might be the granddaughter, but that seems a little... I don't think... Who's that other girl in the promo thing? That's what we're talking about. That's, that's her. Oh, that was her? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It could be yeah. Susan or... Those are... I mean, everyone is guessing those two, so I, yeah. it would kind of be a letdown if it was one of them. But I think I would want it to be Romana. And explain who Romana is for those of us who aren't caught up on the classic series. Uh, Tom Baker's Time Lady Companion. Okay. From the classic series. Why would it be her? Because it's someone he's met before, but maybe doesn't... But is it? Recognize. It's not confirmed if we've met her before or not. Not though. we've met her. It's some but of the doctors. Oh, that met. he's met her. Didn't he <coughs> say? I can't remember that promo now. But didn't he say like you? She like just you. says it's about time, old man. Okay. Mm. That's why I think people think it might be Susan. Because yeah. did she call him old man or I don't know? No. Mm-mm. Well, I mean, I haven't seen her little reappearances and blips, but she called her grandfather grandfather. In the original, yeah. or could it some be? people thought it was River, but unless River regenerated while she was a child, to or was start. she a teenager then? Well, still, uh, she would still have to die or regenerate. Some people thought it was um, Jenny, right? Yeah, the doctor's that daughter. Doesn't make any sense. The she clone can't wasn't she a clone? She was. She only had one heart. Yeah, she was made from oh, his DNA, but yeah. it wasn't actually a clone. Yeah. So that's the worst guess. That, I, I, I'm, I'm repeating other no, folks' I guess. I don't. Saying. I don't know. I don't think she's Jenny. I think she's... The other reason I think she's Romana is because the one episode with the Master where the Time Lords brought him back so that he could bring them back, or he's the... Here's the beating. Oh, the, he's... He, the sound of drums. Yeah. So the that one Time Lord was saying that two people who are opposed to this decision must stand as the, the weeping angels of old... They're standing there covering their eyes because they went against the Time Lords. There's a woman who, like, makes a gesture to the doctor telling him what to do, how they resolve that conflict. And that actress was casted, cast. She thought she was either his mother, the doctor's mother, mm-hmm. or Romana. But then they didn't do anything with it. In I the thought they confirmed episode. that it was his mother. They didn't confirm either. At least Nothing is there. official. Yeah. But how she was cast was a more significant part. So maybe they're going to try to bring that. And it just makes less sense that that little girl's his mom. And did Susan ever die or regenerate? You watch those original ones, you don't get the feeling that she's a Time Lord. <laughs> like I thought it was established that she was a Time Lady at some point. Like during the Fifth Doctor, maybe? Or? Probably. Because okay. I don't think... Because when they filmed it... They didn't know he regenerated or anything. Right, yeah. initially. So you get a, it, like, I think you just have to make a leap of the imagination that, yeah, well, not a big leap, but. It's a little wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. It just seems like she's a little human girl that is his companion, even though it's his granddaughter. I don't know. I know it's his granddaughter biologically, so she's a time lord. But it just. But seems... I think it's actually confirmed. It. Like, I was reading, yeah. because as I've. Ch- been watching the revival series even though i haven't seen much of the classic series i've been reading about it uh-huh. and that maybe it's in the expanded universe because there's a lot of extra yeah doctor who stuff but i thought at some point it was confirmed that she's a time lady i just don't know what happened to her i haven't I don't, seen or read enough of it to know yeah i don't know if she's ever come back as a different no they haven't form. No, it's always, it's only been the Susan from the first Doctor. She's never made a reappearance. Which would make form. 
Arya, Maisie Williams, as Susan kind of an interesting thing, because if she really is his granddaughter and really is a time lady, maybe she regenerated. and mm-hmm. As a kid? As a kid. Why not? Because he was supposed to be watching over her. Well, she can <laughs> travel through time, right? So She doesn't. Does she have a TARDIS? We don't know her life. This could be her life <laughs> when she was a child. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know yeah. that I have any opinion. I'm just waxing about what could be. I kind of thought it would be cool if it was her, but I think I'd rather it be Romana. But I don't, it probably is none of them. Would they do Romana, though, when the Master is now Missy? Was the Master on when Romana was on? The Master, I, He always comes lot. back around. <laughs> like, very likely. Yeah, Nick's the expert. Mm-hmm. More of us, more of it than us. Because Romana was there with Tom Baker for a long time because mm-hmm. she regenerated. So, two different actresses playing the companion, but it's technically the same character for a lot of Tom Baker. But was she good? Was she bad? Was she kind of she morally ambiguous? She was a, ambiguous? a hinder, an annoyance at first. Yeah. They, I think they end up getting along. But, it, like, the first time we see her, he's not necessarily trying to avoid, like, get away from her or brush her off, but. They're working together to find these pieces to something, but he's the doctor and he's easily distracted. And she's slowing him down and she... Or he just tries to ignore her. And they, of course, like, stumble across some of these pieces because the TARDIS knows where to take them or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, they're, they're companions. They get along. Okay. I want the new companion to be a dude because we only saw that with Rory. And then I want that companion to stay until the doctor regenerates into a woman and then see that dynamic. I see. See a hmm. male companion dealing with his friend becoming a female. You think the doctor will ever be a woman? I think he has to be. Eventually. Right? I think they were trying to appease those that want him to be the woman by making the master Missy. Mm-hmm. Or I at least they were like the with her. If this show is going to last another ten years, I think he's going to eventually have to be a woman. Since we've established with Missy and other episodes that Time Lords can be male or female, like, they switch, it doesn't, it starts making less and less sense that he's been male. The whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or Maybe. at least, or at least they need to cast someone next who's not a white male. Or at least bring in a little bit of a, a shift. I think it's like Quantum Leap. You could be either, but most of the time, he's going to be a man. Yeah. yeah, that's true. He was yeah. a man most of the time. He really was most of the time. So that's what I think. I think that's a science fiction law or something. I think we <laughs> should just have ood tendrils. But then, what would the ood's do? Yeah, I don't know. Follow him around as the leader. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> On that note. Well, like I was saying before, I think we are intrigued by what's to come. I think we're possibly excited by what's to come hopefully the second part of the premiere will um explain a few things for us but i can tell all of you listeners out there that the next time you hear us podcasting about doctor who will be either right after the christmas special or sometime thereafter so stay tuned for that keep listening keep watching keep checking out the blog and itunes And stay tuned for the other episodes that we'll be publishing soon. As always, this is Sarah, Nick, Kristen, and Kylie for Couch Potatoes Unite. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.